it's beginning to all make sense. Do I know you? I know him. I thought Bartran told you to clear off, Doodle. Calm yourself, Varric. I just wanted to meet your brother's new business partner. That remains to be seen. And that's what I need to talk to you about. Dougal's one of my dear brother's ex-partners. Bartran turned aside my offer of help, even though I had the coin to spare. Thing is, I still think it's a promising venture. The fool won't let me invest, but if someone like you invested on my behalf... Bartrand was pretty desperate for help. He must have had a good reason to turn you down. He did. We had a... disagreement. They tried to kill each other. You've met Bartrand, yes? Someone would need the patience of a Bronto not to want to kill him. But what's done is done. Now his pride won't let him take my coin, even if it ruins him. Just what kind of terms are we talking about here? I give you what Bartrand needs. Bartrand thinks it's your coin. Then, when the expedition's done, you pay me back double. What do you think? Hard to say. Dougal's never done me any harm. See? There you go. Still don't trust you. You're as sour a bastard as my brother without the family connection to make it easier to swallow. Do what you like. I came to you, not to him. But we do need the coin. If Bartrand doesn't want your help, neither do I. Think you can come up with a coin all on your own, eh? Fair enough. Hawk will find a way. Really? From what I can tell, it seems your friend enjoys spending coin more than saving it. You change your mind? Come talk to me. I doubt this expedition is going anywhere in the meantime. Varric, no. Well, you're the captain. Or you will be. It'll be easy. I'm not petitioning the Viscount to help you steal ownership of the Hanged Man. Steal? Madam, you wound me. I'm about to. Big changes are coming, huh? Captain of the Guard. Thank you, Wesley. That you keep his memory speaks well of him. He's not with me. I know that. Wesley's at the Maker's side, or he's not. Either way, he knows no pain. What I keep is that moment. I won't let anyone down like that again. Wesley's at the Maker's side, or he's not. What do you mean by that? Wesley believed, and if he was correct, then that's where he is. But this business of the less the Maker does, the more he's proven, I don't find it compelling. But you married a Templar. I married a man, a good one, and he's gone. I have heard the chant. It is lovely. Perhaps that's all it needs to be. You clearly miss Wesley, but that's not the issue. Of course I miss him, but he's not coming back. Pining like a child serves no one. So I remember him, but I let him rest. You're not so kind to yourself, though. No. I don't see how you can take the blame for the Darkspawn Horde. I didn't cause his death, but I also didn't prevent it. Do you blame me? I did. I didn't want to. I know why it had to be done, and so did Wesley. But in my heart, that cut was cruel. I could get used to having the law on my side. You'll behave yourself, is what you'll do. I just sent Jevon to prison over corruption. I won't go the same road. You never let me have any fun. I think that's best for everyone. It's good that you can stay with me. I need you, Aveline. You've been grand through all of this. A true friend. Captain of the Guard. Thank you for helping me get here, Hawk. It's where I should be.
Nothing going on, Hawk. You'd be the first to know if there was. Grigio Pavali, and there are six bottles in the cellar. Denarius used to have me pour it for his guests. My appearance intimidated them, he said, which he enjoyed. You were his servant as well as his bodyguard. I was his slave. I propped up the furniture when he was so inclined. It's good I can still take pleasure in the small things. You've had a difficult life. I'd rather not speak more of it. Are you certain? I'm willing to listen. <laughs> to my whining? Very charitable of you. I've wanted to leave my past behind me, but it won't stay there. Tell me, have you never wanted to return to Ferelden? I grew up in Ferelden. It will always be my home. The blight is over. You could rebuild what you lost. Do you truly not want to? I have to admit, it's an attractive idea. But not now. I understand. Still, to have the option... ...must be gratifying. Do you intend to keep living here? I haven't decided. For now, it's as good as any other place. I would return to Saharan if I could, but... ...there is no life for me there. Is that where you're from? So I've been told. Were you very young when you left then? Perhaps. You could track your former master down, I assume. I imagine he has returned to Minrathus, ...though I dare not go near the city while he is alive. Oh. It is better to wait for him to leave his fortress, fight from a fortified position. I do not expect your help when that day comes, but I would not turn it aside. You've been on the run a long time, then. Three years now. Denarius has a way of finding me. Perhaps it is the markings. Whatever the means, it never takes him long to follow. This is the first time I've given him reason to pause. I suppose there are advantages in numbers. Haven't you sought help before? Hirelings, when I could steal the coin. Never anyone of substance. Until you. Denarius will not give up, however. I await his return. What if he does give up? What then? Then I go to him. I will not live with a wolf at my back. Sounds like the right idea to me. If it comes to that, I doubt it will. If you're looking to start a life, you could stay. I could see myself staying, for the right reasons. I should thank you again for helping me against the Hunters. Had I known Anso would find me a woman so capable, I might have asked him to look sooner. It turned out well enough. It did at that. I will not keep you longer. Another time, perhaps. It's not a pretty home, but at least it's clean. I had a friend like you once, got in all kinds of trouble, dragged me along. 
Didn't think I'd be doing that again. I got a bit weighty the last time we talked. Sorry for putting that on you. You can tell me anything. Anything? Be careful what you offer. I just... I hope I didn't seem too selfish when I told you about justice. I didn't know what would happen. I figured a willing host, a friend. It had to be better than playing the demon and haunting some corpse. We can't always predict the outcome of our actions. We can only make them with a true heart. Kind, wise, and beautiful. You must have made a deal with some demons yourself. I'm sorry, I shouldn't presume. I just... We've hardly met and I feel like I know you. Am I making you uncomfortable? Keep telling me I'm beautiful. You can't go wrong with that. Oh, I'm sure I can get more creative. No, I, I shouldn't do this. I don't want to hurt you. Why would you hurt me? You saw what I did in the Chantry. That's who I am. A year ago, maybe we could have had something. But I'm not that man anymore. I'll break your heart. And that might kill me as surely as the Templars. I didn't think you'd come. I'll find something relatively clean for you to sit on. Can I get you something to eat or drink? I have water. It's cozy. And your fairy friends are charming. Oh, are the rats back? I thought I'd found all their holes. I wanted to thank you for bringing me here, but I'm making a mess of it. I'm not sure this was a kindness. It's not... pretty. But this is where I need to be. I haven't exactly had many friends. Not even among my own clan. This is... tricky. What made you unpopular with the Dalish? Being first to the Keeper, I was always a bit secluded. I studied magic and history while the others were learning the Via Tanadal. It's good that I left. I'd have made a terrible Keeper. I was never that good with people. You seem to be getting the hang of it already. I'm glad you think so. Thank you for coming to visit me, Hawk. It means a lot to me. This city is amazing. Do you know I saw someone get mugged? Right outside. It was fascinating. Everything happens here all at once. How does anyone keep it all straight? Someone has jumped outside your door, and that's exciting? It must be the Alien Age greeting. Hasn't happened to me yet, though. They must not like me. It's so busy here. So many things just get... lost. Do you miss the Dalish? I miss her and Pival stories. The creaking of Aravels in the breeze. The city is so busy and confusing. And the Elves here are not like my clan. But I'll get used to Kirkwall in time. The Templars haven't found you, have they? I've been careful. Even among the Dalish. Keepers never work magic in public. And I think the Templars don't even see me. I'm just another elf in the alienage. Are you feeling lost here, Meryl? A bit. But... I'll adjust. 
I'm glad you came by. I needed someone to talk to. By the Dread Wolf! Why is my house always such a mess when people are here? It's clean sometimes, I swear. What do you need, my good friend? Let's see what you have. By all means, feel free to peruse my wares whenever you wish. Um. <laughs> Sandals never been one for comp. Barrack, where did you get off to? And what are you planning? Bartrand, so suspicious. I have, in fact, brought us our future partner. What? Partner? You stupid, nug humping dirt farmer. Why did you go promising something like that? Because if we don't get this expedition moving, brother, then we won't have any profits to argue about, will we? Hmm. Maybe you have a point. So we're partners? That depends. You got the coin we need? Are we talking a full share here, or what? If you have the coin, sure. You'll get a full share. That seems like a lot for an expedition. We're going lower into the deep roads than anyone's ever dared. Who knows what we'll find down there? Well, that means food and equipment and hirelings. None of that comes bloody cheap. I do have your coin, in fact. You're joking. What did I tell you, Bartrand? Not bad for a human. All right, partner. Full share of the profit between you, me, and Varric. Now we just need a decent entrance into the deep roads. These might be just what we need. What's this? Three? Four entrances into the deep roads, all in the free marches? Where'd you get these? A wizard did it. Well, color me astounded. We just pick the most promising one, and go! Time to wrap up any business you have in the city, my friend. We'll be gone for several weeks, at least. Let me know as soon as you're ready, and we'll head out. So are you ready? It's a long trek. If you have any business you need to wrap up here, you'd better do it now. I'm ready. Let's get started. Then let's not waste any more time. We've chosen one of the hidden entrances. The deep roads there will be nice and virginal. 
Ready for a good deflowering. Ha! <laughs> now there's an interesting image. It'll take a week for us to get to the depth we need. There are bound to be leftover dark spawn from the blight. Big risks, big rewards. Risks? Rewards? What could be better? Exactly! Now, before... Wait! Who invited the old woman? I'm sorry to interrupt, Sir Dwarf. But I need to speak with my children. Mother, no. We talked about how important this is. I just want to know one thing. Are you planning on taking Carver with you? I hadn't decided yet. I'm going. It'll be fine. It's not fine. You can't both go. What if something will happen to you? You, I understand, wanting to do this. But leave your brother here, I beg you. I said I'm going. Besides, if we're so bloody afraid of Templars, I should go and she should hide. Well, you're not gonna be able to take everyone anyhow. You'll need to decide. Now you're just being daft. You need me down there. We can't both go into the deep roads. It's too dangerous. So I get left behind to mine the chickens. I see how it is. Carver, your sister's only doing what she thinks is best. I know. I guess I'll have to do the same. Personal drama over with? Now let's get underway. Been a long time coming, eh, brother? That it has. The deep roads await! <laughs> 